All right, sitting at the not particularly glorious two and two. Let's see if I can pull it out of here. Wind brisk heights. What the heck? Tokens? White weenie? I'm going to play two Steel Overseers next turn, that's for sure. Mostly sure. Tokens or Soul Sisters, one of the two. No, Soul Sisters. Tokens wouldn't play that. Well, let's see if they have answers for this. I don't actually really remember what this deck is playing. Oh. Spectral Procession. That's irritating. I'm happy to trade the Welding Jar for all three of his spirits. He's going to cast whatever he's hiding under the... No? Maybe not. That is a lot of Spectral Procession. That is a lot of Spectral Processions. I mean, maybe he's going to pump the shit out of his guys, but at least I'm putting him down to probably dead next turn. Let's see if he's got... He needs double... Um... That's not quite enough. Right? Yeah, okay. Well, that was a thing. Uh, what do I do against this? Um, I imagine Etch Champion is good and Master of Ethereum is less. Signal Pest seems bad. Thoughtseize seems good. Whip Clear seems great. Grid seems good. Ravager seems mediocre, and I can probably shave a Vault Scourge as well. I do hate having my basic mountain though. I have a feeling this is a path to exile deck for some weird reason.
Yeah. At least I have the grid. Upside. Land, please. Land. Actually, gonna attack with these because I think he's gonna value his spirits more than them. I'm worried about a um, Archangel of Thune here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up the Galvanic Blast. If he goes land Archangel, then I get to um, Galvanic Blast it in response to the trigger. Yeah, because the, the Soul Warden would trigger, and then before he gains the life to put the counter on all of his guys, I could Galvanic Blast the Archangel of Thune, and it would die, and he'd not get any plus one plus one counters. Come on! <laughs> I understand... I understand Saffron Olive when he's just like, Come on, Dak! Why you do that? Why you give me the Darksteel Citadel instead of the Nexus... So bad. Whip Flare to reset the board. See, there's the Archangel of Thune. There's a reason I've been sandbagging this the whole time. Grid. Come on, give me a Whip Flare or a land. Whip Flare or a basic land. Oh, come on! I guess I'm going to keep this because I have a thought seize so I can get rid of the goddamn stony silence. Also, he multiplied, so there's that. Just in case he scried stony to the top, I'm going to. No, I'm not going to do that. I want to play both my creatures next turn. It was tempting, though. Well, fuck me. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! 
Come on. So the question is, what do I do? I want to play the Ravager. Do I load it up with... What's the point of playing the Overseer or whatever? Linking flyer. And I pray he doesn't draw like stuff until he's dead. Of course. to activate that. Eh, fine. Sure. That irony. Come on. <laughs> Draw the mountain when he just draws a ghost quarter. I just hope he doesn't draw creatures. <laughs> okay, all right. Just a couple more turns of that. Come on, don't draw an answer. Don't draw an answer. Not an answer. Mostly because it doesn't have flying. Might as well force him to use his other ghost quarter. No flyers, no removal. No flyers, no removal. Come on. That makes two life. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, suck on that, stony silence. Suck on that. <laughs>